Dear students, now we are going to discuss the comparison of positive feedback and negative feedback. When the input signal and the feedback signal both are in phase, it is known as positive feedback. That means the feedback signal is in phase with the input signal. When the input signal and the feedback signal are out of phase with each other, it is known as negative feedback. Here the feedback signal is out of phase with the input signal. In positive feedback, the feedback signal is added to the input signal to get the desired output. In case of negative feedback, the feedback signal is subtracted from the input signal. So this is the basic structure of positive feedback. This one is for negative feedback. There is only one difference in this diagram. In positive feedback, we are going to add this feedback signal with the source signal to get this VI. So here VI is nothing but VS plus VF. Okay. But for this negative feedback, the feedback signal is subtracted from this source signal. So here this VI is nothing but VS minus Vf. Okay. That is the only difference between this positive and negative feedback. The gain of the positive feedback system is represented as Af is equal to A by 1 minus A beta. For this negative feedback, a by 1 plus A beta. Here 1 minus A beta is represented as desensitivity factor. For this negative feedback, 1 plus A beta is represented as desensitivity factor. The positive feedback is also called as regenerative feedback. Here the negative feedback is also called as degenerative feedback. In positive feedback, if A beta approaches unity, then the closed loop gain AF becomes infinite. So we know that AF is equal to what? A divided by 1, plus, 1 minus A beta, correct? So here A beta approaches unity means 1 minus 1, 0. So anything divided by 0 is infinite. Here the gain is infinite. Hence it is called as regenerative feedback, okay? For this negative feedback, if 1 plus A beta is greater than 1, then the closed loop gain AF reduces from its open loop gain. Okay, so hence it is called as degenerative feedback. Okay, it is widely used in oscillator. Negative feedback is widely used in amplifier circuits. Increased distortion and high noise both are the major disadvantages of this positive feedback. In this negative feedback, Reduction in distortion and noise both are the major advantages. Here it is having high distortion and high noise. Here it is having low distortion and noise. Here there is no stability. So instability occurs in this positive feedback. In negative feedback it provides improved stability. Advantages of negative feedback over positive feedback. Negative feedback provides improved stability, reduction in distortion and noise, higher input impedance, lower output impedance, increase in bandwidth and reduction in gain. So these all are the major advantages of negative feedback over positive feedback. Negative feedback is widely used in amplifier circuits.